I got the new Nespresso Peppermint Pinwheel Pods. And this creamer is to die for. This is the Chobani Coffee Creamer and it's peppermint mocha flavored and it has gorgeous packaging and it makes me happy. And these two in combination are delicious. Totally sounds like a commercial, but it's not. Just some of my faves. All right, so hey guys, how's it going? Welcome back to my channel. If this is your first time here, thanks for joining. My name is Brandy. Some of you may know me as Live With Bib on Instagram. I do also have a blog at livewithbib.com. Welcome to my channel. So today I've got a super exciting review, live swatch and comparison for you. I have the L Polish Marula Oil Infused Nail Polish Collection. It's a six piece winter collection that is a limited edition. So make sure you get these before they sell out. They currently have free shipping for all orders until Christmas. So get on it. They ship from Canada, so shipping to the United States can be expensive, so definitely take advantage of that. This collection was created by Lauren's List from Instagram. I'm sure most of you guys know who she is. So a little bit about the brand, like I said, um, Lauren's List from Instagram created it. It's a clean beauty brand. They are vegan, cruelty free, and sustainable. They also have a recycling program so make sure you check out their website to see more about the recycling program. They are 17 free and it says on the website that you can get up to 12 days of chip free shine. They also have the curved brush that is amazing. This brush applies the polish so wonderfully. The formulas are amazing. The colors are amazing. The packaging is stunning. So let's get into the polishes. Okay, so this first polish is called Wisteria. This is described as a periwinkle baby blue cream. Has a great formula. You can see the first coat goes on very well here. And this is a two coater, so I did two coats in the live swatch and two coats in the swatch picture. And I just absolutely love this blue for wintertime, for springtime, really for any time. And then here we have it compared to the polish you guys were probably all thinking of. Bikini Sotini by Essie. And you can see that Bikini Sotini is a little bit darker. They're both beautiful colors. And next up we have Pistachio. Pistachio is described as a pale, dusty green cream with yellow undertones, and that's definitely a very accurate description of this polish. I love pastel green polishes, and this one is no exception. This is a two to three coater. I did three coats here in the live swatch, but I believe I only did two coats in the swatch picture, so. A lot of these polishes, it just depends on how you apply them. It is a pretty thick formula, so you can easily get away with two coats on a lot of these, but you can also do three thin coats and it looks just as good. And then here we have Pistachio compared to Can Do Attitude from the Essie Spring 2020 collection. And you can see that Pistachio is just a tad bit lighter then Can Do Attitude, and they're both gorgeous colors. And then here we have Tulip. This is total Barbie pink. And the description of this polish says, bold Barbie pink with just the tiniest amount of micro shimmer invisible to the naked eye, which is super interesting. It really is not visible to the naked eye but it must add a little something something to this polish because this polish is gorgeous. It's a two coater. And then here you can see it compared to Essie Blossoms and Besties, Essie Mod Square, and Essie Slumber Party On from the new Not Ready for Bed collection. I will insert a link up here for my video on that collection. And then here you have those three polishes. You can see Pistachio, Wisteria, and Tulip all together. And this is what, these polishes will make the most perfect Easter egg manny 
ever. So get these. Even if you won't wear these in the winter time, get these for the spring because they're that good. Okay, and then next we have cotton candy. Cotton candy is a baby pink cream with just the tiniest amount of micro shimmer invisible to the naked eye again. And I would love to know what this invisible micro shimmer adds to these polishes. It adds something. I can't describe it. It's almost like a satiny sheen that you just can't put your finger on. It's gorgeous. So this is a two coater. I did two coats in the live swatch and two coats in the swatch picture. I love it. Okay, and then next up we have Taro. This is a lilac cream with dusty undertones and the absolute tiniest amount of micro shimmer. And you can see the micro shimmer in this polish, but it is the tiniest amount of micro shimmer. But it's beautiful. I love this polish. I love these dusty lilac polishes. It's almost kind of similar to what Bangle Jangle looks like, but a few shades lighter. So I love it. It's just gorgeous. And then we have Taro or Taro, I'm not sure how to pronounce it, compared to Essie Goginza. And then Cotton Candy compared to Essie Fiji. And another polish with another great name because this basically looks like oat milk. And this polish is called Oat Milk. This polish is described as a soft beige neutral cream with a mix of gray and taupe undertones. And that's a perfect description for this polish. I did two coats here in the live swatch and two coats in the swatch picture. And then here we have it compared to Rainwear Don't Care from the Essie Spring 2020 collection and Topless and Barefoot. So you guys can get an idea of how those look compared to each other. And then here we have the last three polishes. We have Taro, Cotton Candy, and Oat Milk. And these are just gorgeous. This color palette is to die for. All six polishes, amazing. All right guys, so which polish was your fave? My fave is Wisteria. Like, how can that not be your fave? It's beautiful. I love the other polishes too, and I'm sure if it's springtime, I'm going to be more of a fan of cotton candy and pistachio, but for now, I love Wisteria. I like to wear the cool icy blues in the wintertime and then put some snowflake nail art on them, and I just think it's a cute mani. All right, and coming this week, Hopefully tomorrow, if I can get the video up, I have the Essie Roll With It collection that I am so thankful to have thanks to Nail Lacquer Therapy from Instagram. She actually sent these polishes to me. They had them in her local CVS. She went, got them, and sent them out to Seattle. So thanks, Nail Lacquer Therapy. Make sure you go give her a follow because that totally deserves a follow. And let me tell you, I have one of them on my nails today. When I painted this polish on my nails, my jaw dropped. I was painting it under lighting, and it seriously looked like the holo glitters were dancing on my nails. Like, it's so pretty. So. Stay tuned for live swatches, comparisons, reviews of the Essie Roll With It collection. I'm thinking that it might be a little bit more available. If you guys saw my Instagram stories from last weekend, I think it was last weekend, I was looking everywhere for this collection and I couldn't find it anywhere, but now that Essie has officially announced it on their Instagram page, I'm hoping that it's a little bit more readily available. It is only going to be available at CVS in the United States, so Stay tuned and keep an eye out at your CBS. So yeah, stay tuned for that video. Like I said, hopefully it will be up tomorrow. And if not, it'll be up sometime this week. Otherwise, hope you guys all have an amazing day and amazing weekend. Love you guys, bye.